Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss how to retain the perfume smell in home care products formulation. I mean, during the home care products formulation, what are the factors that will influence the retention of the perfume smell? Let us get into the video. In perfume itself, there are many qualities available. Depends upon the perfume. I mean, what is the base note? What is the middle note? What is the top note? What is the fragrance soil in the perfume? What is the fixative material? Whether it is synthetic or organic? What is the concentration? Based on that, many qualities of perfumes are available. Even though, apart from uh, perfume quality, whatever the perfume we are using, even second quality or third quality, whatever the amount we are using, even 1 ml or 2 ml, we should feel that, we should retain the perfume smell. So, what are the things we need to follow for that? We will discuss. In our formulation, what are the surfactants we are using? What are the solvents we are using? What is the concentration of active materials? What is the amount of water? Based on that, our uh, product's uh, packing arrangement will be there. The packing arrangement is important factor to retain the perfume structure. So, this is called as formula or formulation. A good formula will have the good packing arrangement. Next, pH. Generally, in pH range of 5 to 7, more or less all the perfumes are stable. We can feel the note, perfume smell. But it is not possible to maintain pH 5 to 7 for all the products. Various products has to be maintained in various pH range. So, in such cases, so depends upon the product, depends upon the product's pH requirement. We need to choose the perfumes. Which perfume is suitable for this product's pH? Which perfume is stable? For the example, in case of liquid detergent, we need to maintain pH at least 8. In case of pH 8, we can choose lavender perfume. It is stable. In case of pH 9, 10 also, some perfumes like mint, pine oil are stable. In case of pH even 2, 3 also, citrus is stable. So, depends upon the pH of the product, we need to choose the perfume, not randomly or not cheap perfume or not as per our choice. Next, preservatives and antioxidants. In our product, if you want to maintain the perfume smell, compulsorily we need to add preservatives and antioxidants. Preferably, we can add two preservatives. And the important thing is, we have to choose the right materials and correct dosage. Next, the quality of the raw materials are very important. Let us take an example, sodium sulphate. This is my sodium sulphate. I am purchasing second quality. After the dissolution process in water, I am not getting clear transparent liquid. I need to get clear transparent liquid. The problem is impurities. So, after the filtration process also, I am getting turbid liquid impurities. So, what will happen? These impurities will absorb the perfumes. It will not facilitate the releasement of the vapors. So, it will disturb the perfume smell. Again, one more example, acid slurry. If acid slurry is pure quality, then no problem. If it is 85%, generally in a retail manner, we are getting second quality only, 85% purity or 90% purity. So, what will happen? If it is 90% pure means, the 10% is impurities. So, that impurities will disturb the perfume smell. Next, storage and handling. Whether it is raw materials or a finished product, we need to follow the good manufacturing practices. Proper storage and handling is essential. We should not allow to expose in sunlight or open oxidation and we need to maintain the proper temperature and humidity in our storage area. Next, salt addition. Generally for home care product formulation, to get the desired thickness, desired consistency, we are using a salt, either sodium chloride or sodium sulphate. 
both the salts are having some plus points and minus points in case of uh, perfume retention then the preferred choice is sodium chloride but sodium chloride is compatible only with limited surfactants i mean our formula is very simple we are using uh, sles aos and capb then we need to maintain the perfume smell then the sodium chloride is better choice suppose if we are using extra materials like extra builders enzymes polymers then compatibility is important factor then the preferred choice is sodium sulfate anyhow whatever we are using sodium chloride or sodium sulfate for our formulation we need to check the compatibility to understand this particular point let us imagine one thing i am taking two glass beakers in one glass beaker i am adding rava just imagine it is as a particular surfactant or other materials in the formula so it is having some structure and based on the structure it is giving some packing arrangement in another glass beaker i am taking different material just imagine this is different kind of surfactants or other materials in the formula so this is having different structure and different packing arrangements in first glass beaker i am going to charge 5 ml of water just imagine this is as perfume in another glass beaker i am going to charge 10 ml now again imagine these two glass beakers as soap either detergent soap or bath soap now the question is among these two soaps which one will give long lasting perfume smell we are using this soap for 10 days or 20 days which one will give long lasting perfume smell the answer is this is this one because packing arrangement here the packing is very compact and very tight so perfumes are going through the entire body entire medium so this packing is effectively trap effectively arrest the perfumes so it will release the perfume smell slowly gradually whenever we are using it even for 10 days or 20 days here in case of this particular soap the packing arrangement is not compact there are more free spaces so there is possibility for lossage of perfume within one or two days so we cannot feel the long lasting perfume smell in this packing arrangement so this is the way how the perfumes are related to surfactants or any other chemicals in the formula this is the structure of the sodium chloride after the dissociation it will give it will furnish simple ions that ions will form compact packing arrangement with surfactants so this compact packing arrangement will effectively trap the retain the perfume smell it is the structure of the sodium sulfate after the dissociation process it will not furnish simple ions the ions are three dimensional in structure so they will not form compact packing arrangement with surfactants in that packing arrangement there is possibility for having lot of the free space so due to presence of free space they cannot arrest effectively the perfume so there is possibility for loss of perfume smell and we cannot feel the long lasting perfume smell with these types of packing arrangement
So ultimately, if we want to maintain the perfume smell in our product, we need to follow the good formula, good formulation. As per the formula, we need to maintain the pH. As per the pH, we need to choose the perfumes. We need to add the preservatives and antioxidant, correct materials and correct dosage. We need to store and handle properly all the raw materials products. We need to choose sodium chloride if perfume retention is our main choice.